Road safety has improved considerably over the last few decades, particularly for car occupants. However, since 2010, the downward trend of accidents and casualties has stagnated. The government has the ambition to achieve zero fatalities in road traffic by 2050. While automation in cars can contribute to achieving this ambition, the progressive introduction of this technology also entails new safety risks. The Dutch Safety Board conducted an investigation into how the automotive industry and the government manage these risks. The self-driving car was already a dream when most people didn't have a car yet. Cruise control was the first innovation, and later, new automated functions were gradually introduced. Many new cars on the roads today have systems that maintain a set speed while keeping a certain distance from the leading vehicle, help the car stay in the middle of the lane, and intervene independently with an emergency braking system in the event of an imminent collision. These systems are designed to make driving easier and are equipped with so much hardware and software that they are now considered driving computers. Drivers experience that these cars can completely take over the task of driving. As a result, drivers are putting more and more trust in this technology. A number of recent incidents have shown that this trust is not always justified. A car with adaptive cruise control and auto steer engaged collided into the rear of a merging truck. The car's automated system detected the movement of the truck into the left lane too late. The driver only braked upon impact with the truck. A car with adaptive cruise control and auto steer engaged drove straight across a roundabout on a provincial road and collided with a pole. The car's automated systems did not recognize the roundabout. The driver only started braking when he was already on the roundabout. Blindly relying on automated systems does not always work. Car drivers must be ready to intervene at any time if technology fails, making driving more difficult. It is in any case often unclear to the driver what the limitations of the technology are or exactly how it works. From a legal point of view, these systems are intended only to provide support. But the Dutch Safety Board is of the opinion that the disclaimers of manufacturers and governments that the driver is always responsible do not adequately address the issue at hand. However, the question, who is in control, is a crucial one. Advanced driver assistance systems are a black box for the government too. The police are not always able to interpret the relevant data after an accident. And, more generally, it is not known which car is equipped with which system and what effect these systems have on road safety. Manufacturers do not exchange their experiences of car automation with each other. Some cars are improved and made safer by means of software updates, but other cars do not get any updates. The development of self-driving cars is taking place in a living lab where manufacturers try to stay ahead of the competition with technical gimmicks. To improve the safety of cars with advanced driver assistance systems, the Dutch Safety Board recommends the automotive industry to shift towards responsible innovation. Elements of this are improving the way they learn from incidents and sharing information with each other and with the government. The Dutch Safety Board recommends changing the legislation at the European level to oblige manufacturers to make this shift. The Dutch Safety Board also recommends that the automotive industry should provide car drivers with more and clearer information about what their car can do and, most importantly, about what it cannot do. Advanced driver assistance systems have the potential to improve road safety. In order to utilize this potential to the full, adjustments are necessary.